I often get asked how to go about downloading video from a website and saving it on a mobile device. And until now, we haven't had a video for you. We do have some videos on how to do it on a desktop, but not on a mobile device. So in this video, I'm going to show you the apps that I use to do this on an iPhone and then also on a mobile device. And of course, with every app that we show you, we always show you the free version of it. Uh, just know that there is also a paid element uh, if you want to go into the pro version. Okay, so we're going to start with the iPhone, and the app that I'm using is this one right here called Private. So I'm going to open the app, and you see that you have a few options. You can pull something from Facebook, from Twitter, or here from YouTube. So I'm just going to pull something from our YouTube channel and show you how easy it is to download it and save it on your mobile device so that you can then upload it to a different place. Now, you might be wondering why in the world would I do that? Why would I just not share the YouTube link. Well, if you're planning to share the YouTube link into a place like Facebook or Instagram, then just know that the social media platforms do not favor external links like they do native video. So by having the video on your mobile device, you can then upload it as its own post, as its own video um, to wherever you're planning to post it on Facebook or or Instagram or wherever, you want to be, of course, sure to, to cite the source where it came from and give credit where credit is due and certainly not pass it off as your own creation. But being able to have it natively uploaded will um, be favored more by the algorithm than had you put an external link. So let's get started. Okay, I've opened up YouTube. I went ahead and went to our business page. Um, just so I could grab one of our videos to show you. Of course, you can search for any business or any YouTube link that you know is in there. But let me just pull up a video here. So I'm going to pull up this video here on um, the four new boomerang features that we did. So I'm going to open this up. And this is the box that pops up. I'm going to select download. I want to download this video. And you can see it's just downloaded right here into the downloads folder. Okay. Now, if I go and tap on the downloads folder, here it is right here. The new, I've already, you know, I tested this. So here's the new boomerang. And you see where it says video playback down here. I'm going to highlight the video. There it is. I want to make sure it's the right one. And I tap on those three buttons at the bottom. Did you see that? These little three right down here. So I've got the video going. I tap on these three buttons and then I'm going to click share. And when I click share, I want to share uh, by saving the video on my phone. So I'm going to say save video. Okay, so I have the video here in this downloads folder that's part of the app, but I also have the video on my mobile device. All right, let's check it just to be sure. Okay, when I clicked on photos, there it is right down there exactly where I saved it. So now I can upload this as a native video somewhere onto Facebook. All right, let's check out Android and see what options we have there. Here on an Android device, and I'm using a Samsung, we're going to use a app called Video Downloader. So I've already downloaded it to the device and I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. It's a free service, but again, just like with everything else, there's a paid version. And sometimes you might have to see or watch a couple of ads, but uh, you get the gist. So you can see these are all of the different places where you can pull a video from. You'll see that YouTube is not listed and that's because this app is coming through Google Play and there is a uh, limitation there that any of the apps that have been vetted through Google Play will not allow you to download YouTube videos. So um, we're just going to download one off of Facebook. So I've already grabbed the URL off of Facebook, but so I'm going to go ahead and paste that in and it's going to pull it up. There it is. And now you see this little circle with a line down here. It's going to allow me to download it. So I'm just going to tap on this and say, uh, oh, got to play the video. <laughs> Forgot about that. You have to play the video first. So tap to play it and then you can pause it and it needs to be a red circle. Pause that. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Then you have to have a red circle here and then you can download it and it's the fastest download. You know, it's not um, because I've already downloaded it a few times, it's dropped down. So you want to go with the highest possible. It'll come up as 780, I think, is what's going to be your preferred. Uh, but when you find the file, you're going to just say fast download, and you'll see it downloads 
into your folders here. Okay, so now you have these finished folders right down here at the bottom, press finish. You can see I've tested and downloaded this a few times, but you don't wanna just leave it here in the app. You might wanna just save it into the photos section, just like we did on the iPhone. And let me show you exactly how you go about doing that. Tap the three dots and we're gonna say, um, boop, 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 where was it? Um, so we're gonna click on share, just like we did on the iPhone. So we click share and then this will pop up and I can say I wanna upload it to my photo album. So I'm gonna select this and it's gonna be downloading the video. Now it's copying it really into the photos of my Samsung phone. Okay, so you could see that you had, you could get it from Twitter, you could get it from Instagram. As long as you have the URL, then you're able to do that. And you might be wondering how on my mobile device do I find the URL? So let me just quickly show you so that you know exactly what to do. Facebook, and you're looking for the URL. If you just go to the video itself, you're not able to find the video URL, at least always. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't because you know Facebook can sometimes be inconsistent. I know that's gonna be surprising to you. Um, but the easiest way to do it is find the post that has the video. And then when you find the post that has the video, if you tap on those three dots there, you'll be able to go down here and copy the link. And that's the link that you're wanting to put into that video downloader software. All right, so it's a little bit more uh, stepwise in the Android world, but still completely doable and it's free. So check it out.